hey guys welcome back to the channel the first thing i'll just say is thank you guys for the amazing response to my last video i honestly didn't expect that it to resonate so well and so deeply with people out there especially creatives and it just made me realize that we all face the same struggles as creatives sometimes you think you're just alone facing these struggles until you maybe share your experiences and then you find out that you know there's a whole lot of people who who are going through what you're going through so i think that should be like a source of encouragement for us knowing that we're not alone and we face the same struggles and because you guys responded so well to the last video and in the comments i could see that there was so much being shared i was able to tell that one of the major challenges that creatives are facing out there is how to really tell stories with your craft so if you're into visual communication like a photographer or you're a filmmaker or a youtuber or even a graphic designer a lot of us out there want to know what is all this thing about storytelling and how do you really really incorporate storytelling into your craft how do you tell better stories with the gear that you already have what would be a good follow-up to the last video and so i decided that i'm going to do a video that breaks down storytelling as i understand it at least based on my own experience and i hope that it will help somebody out there to just wrap his or her head around the subject of storytelling so at the end of this video if you stick to the end you will have a clearer idea of the elements of storytelling you have a good roadmap or way forward in beginning to utilize this very important thing which is storytelling in your content creation whether you want to make better youtube videos or you want to create better short films or you just want to do a better job with wedding photography or any kind of project that you're on and you want to incorporate storytelling into it this video will help you to do just that so stay tuned make sure you watch to the end because i'll be very eager to know what you guys think about this video let's get into it so this video is a guide to crafting compelling narratives let's start with what a story is a story is a structured narrative that takes the audience or the journey it's more than just a sequence of events it's an emotional connection that taps into the human experience stories are how we communicate ideas experiences and values that resonate with listeners or viewers on a deep level so let me give you like a story telling checklist whether you are crafting a written narrative a film or a visual campaign having a checklist helps to ensure that you don't miss any crucial elements so here is a basic framework for telling compelling stories so the way i'm going to be presenting these steps there are various ways to dissect stories and i'm not the most educated person on storytelling right i just have some experience and i have some knowledge and that's what i'm sharing with you so the first step is to ask yourself why why do you want to tell the story and it's important because why is going to lead us to the next step in the checklist or the next step in the cycle why do you want to tell the story so let's say you want to tell the story about the community you grew up in as a child why do you want to tell that story could it be that you want to tell the story because you just want to create awareness about what it feels like or what it was like during your own time growing up as a person in that community or is your why that you want to bring awareness to the issues in that community because you're hoping to get investors who will invest in a particular project or projects in that community you know so you see that depending on your why that would take us to the next point which is your audience who is this story for you know you have to tailor your story to their interests and their emotions so in the example i gave the first example was that your why was that you just wanted to create awareness about what it's like growing up in community b let's call community b um, j town so your story is that you want to create awareness about what it was like growing up as a child in j town and in story a about j town your audience would be the general public or maybe your peers 
or the international community, right? Because you're just trying to create awareness. You just want people to feel what you felt. But if your if your why is about getting investors, your audience will most likely be people who have the money to invest. So it might be international organizations, corporations, uh, philanthropists, millionaires, and so on. So can you already begin to see how your story is going to play out? Because you're considering your audience. You have to make sure that the story resonates with your audience's interests. A philanthropist will not be interested in your story if it is not presenting to him an opportunity to do what he loves to do, which is to be a philanthropist and, you know, that kind of a thing. So basically, you start with why, and when you have your why, it's easy for you to now begin to think about the audience that will best fit that why. The next step is the key message or the key takeaway or takeaways from your story. What do you want the audience to remember after watching your video or your presentation? What are those things that you would want them to remember? So in the example we gave in story A about J-Town, maybe what you want them to remember is that J-Town used to be such a lovely place to grow up in on the positive side. On the negative side, maybe you want to talk about how unsafe it was for kids your age back then. And so the key message you want to leave behind from that story is that people need to make communities safer for children. For story B, where you're trying to get the attention of, a, of an investor, the key message could be that with just a little amount, maybe $10,000, the lives of young people in J-Town could be changed forever. Maybe that's the key message that it just takes a little investment to make a difference. So make sure that you have at the back of your mind what the key message that you want your story to pass across is. Now the next point is the emotional hook. What emotions do you want your audience to feel? Do you want them to feel awe, excitement, empathy, anger, joy, curiosity? You have to have this at the back of your mind while you are crafting your story. And that leads us to the next step in this, which is the character. Because if you want to pull your audience in emotionally, if you want to provide an emotional hook, there's usually no better way to do it than to introduce a character. Now, the character may be a human subject, a human being, whose life or experience captures the why and the messages in the story. It could be an animal, it could be a community. In the examples that we're using, you could say that, yes, the story is about J-Town, but if you really want your story to have a good emotional hook, remember we talked about emotion, you need to introduce a character. So in story A, you could introduce the character of maybe a young girl, let's, let's call her Binta, who lives in J-Town. Or you could even use yourself and talk about your experiences growing up in J-Town. The same thing for the story B, which is where you're trying to get investors to come to invest in J-Town. You know, you could start with a family. You could talk about how a certain family had problems raising their children in J-Town because there were no play areas or there were no technical schools where children could build skills. And so a lot of these children ended up joining bad gangs, street gangs, and getting into drugs. By talking about the family or the character, or the subject, you're pulling the person in. By using yourself as an example, you're letting people feel what you felt growing up in that environment. If it's a sad story, you could talk about how somebody got killed or raped tragically, or you could talk about how your family was able to better their fortunes because in another community, for example, somebody invested and things changed. So the point is that you want to use a character to draw your viewer in to to encapsulate all those emotions that you want to really put into the story so every story needs a good protagonist so who is your character and how did they relate to your audience find a way to make your audience able to relate with the character all right so if your audience is like maybe investors or philanthropists or corporations your character should have some kind of relationship with those people, with the audience. And that will help your character to really sell. So the next step is the problem to be overcome. 
What challenge does your character face? This drives the story forward. It's quite important to describe the problem that needs to be overcome. You know, find a way to introduce it into your story. So if in story A, the problem to be overcome is that it's just difficult growing up as a child in J-Town. And what makes it difficult? So that's where you go into a little bit of depth into what makes it difficult. Is it that there aren't enough play areas or gardens or things that kids can do, positive things that kids can do? Is it that there aren't enough schools for kids and they have to walk miles and miles to the next community to get to a school? Or is it that the town is just not safe for kids and a lot of kids get bullied or injured. There's not enough child safety measures or interventions for kids in that community. And in the case of Story B, where you're trying to get an investor, the problem to be overcome could be that nobody really cares about J-Town. A lot of people come, they grow up there, but they leave and they never look back. Or it could be that the government has probably neglected J-Town and there isn't enough investment in infrastructure to make J-Town a place that is good to grow up in. You know, so those are the kind of things that you're trying to bring in and introduce into your story as the problem that needs to be overcome. So the next thing you need to introduce is the story arc. And a good story follows a natural progression. So there's an introduction, there's a rising action, there's a climax, and there's a resolution. We're talking about the natural flow of the story. So what happens in the opening scene? So the opening scene, there's a young boy walking down the street. He's looking for a place to just play basketball. And there isn't anywhere to play basketball. So he just goes into an abandoned plot and bounces the ball around. And then all of a sudden, these street boys come around and they start harassing him. So you could say that this is the experience of many children in that neighborhood. And then you could go on to now start talking about how he got into confrontation with a particular bully. And eventually how he had to get the authorities involved and eventually the community was able to address bullying head-on and now bullying is no longer a thing in that community because of this person's experience. So you're following that story. So there's an introduction which is where you see him trying to express his love for basketball and then there's the next part which is where he gets bullied and the next part which is where there has to be a solution to the bullying. And then the last part is where there's a resolution. So that's the natural arc of a story. All right, guys, so we've come to the end of this particular video. There's so much that I have to share, but I'll do that in subsequent videos. In this particular video, we've talked about what a story is. We've talked about, you know, some things that I consider to be very basic that you could put into a checklist so that it serves like a foundation on which you can build stories into your content creation whether you are a photographer documenting a wedding or a photographer trying to create a documentary um, for an organization or for a project or whether you are just creating content for your youtube or youtube shots it doesn't matter from the previous video that led to this video it was so clear that many people want to be able to add more meaning and more value into the things they create and this will help them to take their mind off gear and equipment and focus more on enjoying the process of creating content and creating content that has value and makes an impact. So that's where all of this started. And so in the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the story arc, how to just draft the whole story, bearing in mind all the things we just talked about that are foundational, the why, the audience, the key messages, the character or the subject, making sure that there's an emotional hook in your stories. A perfect example of stories, you know, look at movies like the Joker, the first Joker, not the second one, because I haven't watched the second one, but Joker part one was to me like a perfect story. And I'll tell you why in the next video. So if you enjoyed watching this, um, please drop a comment. I really love reading your comments. I try to reply to every comment and uh, let me know what you think about this whole thing about stories let me know the kind of things you'd like me to talk about so if you enjoyed it um please make sure you subscribe let's build this channel together i'll see you in the next video